Okay, I feel like I could have a prettier shot. Is that prettier? I think that's prettier. So this year I wanted to be a lot more intentional about goal setting. A lot of times I feel like time just sort of escapes me and I don't really know what I've done or what I'm doing. And <laughs> that was something that I really wanted to change this year. So it's the end of the first month of 2022 and I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of a February planning slash review of January type of video. This is my planner. I'm just gonna go through the prompts that it has for reviewing the month as well as for planning the new month. I'll put them on the screen as well in case you wanna think about them in relation to your own life. Okay, so first things first, let's read some of the goals I had for January, which we'll talk about the fact that I failed on some of them, but for now, let's just go over them, shall we? So my theme for January was a reset slash transition. Do I think I stuck to that like theme? No, <laughs> not at all. And we'll get into why I sort of fell off track with that. My main goals were to embrace a fitness lifestyle and connect to my body. I marked this as half complete. I think I did an okay job with this. Like I definitely was doing like a lot of yoga and a lot of fitness practices. I'm gonna have a vlog up sometime in the next couple of weeks sort of with updates about my fitness slash wellness journey. I think I did like 50% of that. I fell off track when things got hectic, but I can't really blame myself too hard for that. But do I think I really fully embraced that like fitness lifestyle? Not really, kind of. We're gonna go with half complete. Second main goal was to get a new higher paying job which I did not do. Towards the end of last year, I crunched the numbers and realized that I need a way higher paying job if I really wanna live the type of lifestyle that I want for myself. And so I set out to find a new job. I was in the later hiring stages at a company and then they ghosted me. So I thought I was gonna be getting a new job in January because I genuinely thought that I was like a step away from getting that position. So that's why I sort of themed the month as like, oh, this is gonna be like a transition for me because I'm gonna be going into a new job. So I'll establish a new routine. That's really what I thought this month was gonna be all about. It didn't happen. I didn't get that job. I'm deep in the application process now. And then goal number three, create weekly YouTube content. I did stick to that. I'm honestly very proud of how consistent I've been with YouTube. I have stayed very consistent with my uploads. I do wish I could upload twice a week, but I just don't think that's practical right now with like a full-time job. And then some of my mini goals was start sleeping earlier. I did okay with that. I would love to go to bed at like 10 or 11 every night and then continue my apartment transformation. Definitely feel like I made progress with that. I got this cute little fuzzy ass blanket. If you guys saw my apartment decor vlog thing, I put up my guitar. I definitely have made progress on my apartment. So overall, I would say I, completed those goals like 50%. And I'm okay with that because this is my first month really setting goals, like clear written down goals. And I can't expect myself to be perfect at it right away. Also, like I said, circumstances were a lot different than I was expecting. And that's something I feel like I really need to learn how to do without feeling guilty is like adjusting when things change. I really thought that this month I was gonna take a break from photography to focus on a new job and shooting for YouTube. And I ended up doing more photography than I've done in a very long time. We'll talk about that a little bit more when I reflect on what I did in January. Okay, so the next section of this monthly spread is the habit tracker. And I had two habits that I was tracking in January. One was working out and the second was refraining from eating out. Like no eating out would be a check for the habit. I did very good on the workout one with the exception of, I have three gaps in my workouts. One, I had COVID. Two, I was in Disneyland. And the third one was the deepest emotional pit that I've been in in a couple of years. So I'm cutting myself slack on those. I think those are very understandable reasons why I was not working out those days. And then with the no eating out, I didn't do so great. That is still something that's really, really tough for me, but I'm hoping to get more serious about it this month because my expenses are looking a little bad. So let's get into January review. What happened? What was I focused on? January was challenging in both good and bad ways because I made a lot of progress in my like photography career, I guess you could say. I shot with two YouTubers who I really like look up to and that was like really crazy and weird. Also just seeing that they were like normal humans and having like 
casual conversations with them was really nice and strange and just made this whole world of like influencers and stuff feel a lot more accessible and normal in my head. I had my first shoot for a brand ever, being paid by a brand to take photos, which was like a big deal. I hit 1.5K on Instagram, gotta celebrate those little wins. I consistently got 100 plus views every 48 hours on YouTube. Thank you guys. <laughs> I made progress on decorating my apartment. I made yoga part of my regular routine. And I faced a lot of challenges that felt like I was being tested. I feel like it's a common experience and I've even read about this in books on like manifestation and following your dreams and all of that. That when things really start happening, when the ball starts rolling, when you're making significant progress, a lot of times it almost feels like the universe is conspiring against you or like things will go really wrong in another area of your life you'll have to face a lot of challenges and of course in these times the best thing you can do is rise up whack those challenges in the face and keep going not getting the job i really wanted having a lot of technical difficulties with like camera equipment when i had really important big shoots having covid and then my period the next week and then some stuff going on with my current job which i don't want to get into because it's kind of private but yes. All right, so let's talk about my reflections. What did I learn from this previous month that's gonna change how I approach the next month and just life in general? So what did I learn this month? Sometimes you will get knocked on your ass, priorities will change. The most important thing during these times is self-compassion and adapting without guilt. T. And then how can I improve moving forward? Stay in touch with my goals and priorities to prevent time from slipping away. This goes back to the other thing that I was talking about where like when I'm not setting goals or planning or checking in with my like goals in a notebook, I feel like time just slips out of my hands and I don't really know what's happening. And I feel like that's how people really get stuck in complacent situations is just they don't even realize how much time is slipping away. That is my worst nightmare to be stuck in like a job or a situation that I hate for a long time because I don't realize that my life is slipping away. That is literally my greatest fear and I almost feel like it's kind of happening. And that's why it's so important for me to be present in my life and to be so intentional about every spare second that I do have. And then the second way that I wrote I can improve is to combat frustration and impatience with gratitude and celebrating my wins. This is why I have things as small as 1.5K followers on Instagram on my list of like wins. It's because my brain is very impatient and I want success to happen now. I want financial abundance. I want all of these things that I dream about. I want it so urgently and it almost feels like I'm running out of time. Like I'm 22 and I feel like I'm running out of time. And it all stems back to that fear of like, I don't want my life to slip away or whatever, but it can be really anxiety inducing and depressing for no reason. And nothing good comes out of being in that frustrated, impatient mindset. So doing practices that make me feel grateful and celebrating every little win, whether that's a shoot that went really well or you know, a few extra views on YouTube, that's what I think is going to help pull me out of that sort of dark, mentality. Okay, moving on to my goals for February. So the word slash main intention I set for February is the word focused. And when deciding my main goals, I have one goal that is the goal and that is just to apply to jobs like my life depends on it. The reason I chose the word focused is because there are a lot of different things that I try to do regularly. I try to upload a video on YouTube every single week. I try to do a photo shoot every single week. And it is so easy for my weeks to slip by because I'm at work four days a week and then the other three days I'm focusing on maintaining my photography and my YouTube channel. And I think it's really easy to neglect those bigger picture things that I don't really want to think about or deal with, such as getting a new job. It's a lot easier just to stay in my current job and put my focus and attention on YouTube and photography so that I don't have to think about the fact that I'm really unhappy in my current work environment. So that is why I chose the word focused. I wanna be really strict with myself about not planning photo shoots or taking on anything extra, really limiting my socializing until I've made significant progress on getting a new job. Because I know I will be so much happier returning to those other areas of my life if I'm in a new job 
It sort of feels like my work situation is this dark cloud over my head right now. Goal number two is once again to remain consistent with YouTube. Cheers. I'm literally batching content now. I'm pre-filming a lot of videos for this month. So it's going to be a little bit of a hustle at the beginning of the month, but then I should be set on content for a few weeks which will be nice. I'll see how I like that structure. And then goal number three is to stay within budget on my spending. I do track my spending every single month and I do have a budget spreadsheet, but literally since I started doing it, I have not been under budget once. It's kind of depressing, but I'm really new to the whole like having to deal with money and having a budget thing. And it's hard. It's fucking hard. I feel like I spend so much more money than I realize I am. Getting more aware of my finances and staying in budget is a huge goal for me right now. My mini goals are daily movement. This can be a walk, yoga, a workout, whatever it is, just not sitting all day. Going to bed with a clean apartment. There is nothing like the feeling of waking up to a clean, cozy, put together space. It just makes me feel so much better. So I always try to like do all the dishes, clean up the apartment before I go to sleep. That's another mini goal I want for this month. And then getting to bed by 11 p.m., having a strict 11 p.m. bedtime so that I can wake up at seven and like really have some time in the morning. And the 30 habits that I'm gonna be tracking during this month, movement, like I said, sort of a workout or some sort of body movement. No money on eating out, once again, I really wanna get better about that this month. And and then singing practice. If you don't know, I do singing lessons every week. Eventually I wanna like post covers and stuff on here. We'll get there. But this was interesting, insightful, helpful in some way. Maybe gave you some things to think about in terms of planning your own month. We'll see whether I keep up with doing this regularly. If you guys like it, maybe I will. Something that I definitely am still working on is just being kinder to myself when I don't crush it in every aspect of my life 24 seven. It's a lot easier said than done and I more than anybody struggle with perfectionism and needing to be productive all the time and all these things that I carry with me literally from the beginning of my life. <laughs> Slowly but surely I feel like I'm getting there and learning to just take care of myself and take things slow and not feel like I literally need to have everything figured out by age 22 because I feel like that a lot of the time. <laughs> I could get into that in a whole video about the pressure to be successful when you're young. It's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely like it, okay? I really wanna get my engagement up. So likes, comments, even just watching the video the whole way through literally helps me so much. So thank you so much if you're still here. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.